Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Sea Legend. Firstly, I thank you all for your support to elevate my channel within such a short time and motivating me with your pleasing comments. Hope this forum is improving your knowledge a bit by bit. With today's requirement of cutting down the fuel consumption and carbon emission, the ships are deliberately being operated at reduced speed. However, since the long-term low load operation in the range below 40% MCR may impair the condition of the main engine. In this video, I'll discuss the precautions to be taken during the low load operation of the main engine. So friends, let's get started. Generally, MAN, BMW, MCC and MEC model main engines can continuously operate down to 40% load without making any changes on the engine itself. Yet there are certain recommendations from the maker for the procedures of long term low load operation. First and the foremost is the engine must be equipped with the slide type fuel valves when operating in the range between 10% to 40% MCR. Besides NOx reduction potential, the slide type fuel valve eliminates the sack volume which optimizes the fuel oil consumption and prevents dripping from the fuel valve nozzle. During continuous low load operation, it is being noticed increase in the sludge formation inside the scavenger receiver and the buffer spaces under the cylinder units. A frequent cleaning and inspection of the scavenge manifold must be practiced. The condition of the piston crown piston rings and the NRV flaps inside the scavenger receiver must be monitored closely. Due to the unburned fuel during low load running, the turbocharger and the exhaust waves will experience fouling. To tackle with this problem, every 24 hours increase the load on the engine to 75% of MCR and maintain it for at least 1 hour. Do carry out the dry cleaning on the gas side of the turbocharger. Similarly, do clean the exhaust gas economizer tubes frequently. This is to maintain the steam pressure of the system with reduced exhaust gases. The next point is the monitoring of the cylinder oil lubrication. Usually, the M engines are equipped with electronically controlled alpha adaptive cylinder oil control systems with the basic feed rate practically proportional to the engine output load. These lubricators provide balanced dose of the cylinder oil and prevents over lubrication at low loads. Hence, this type of lubricator system is always advisable. Friends, the next point is very crucial. During the extended periods of low load operation, you should increase the attention and maintenance level of the auxiliary blowers. Usually for ME engines, the operation is controlled by the ACUs and the blower cut-ins at scavenger pressure 0.5 bar and cutoffs at 0.7 bar. Always to adjust the engine load so that the auxiliary blows are either continuously running or in stop mode. Avoid continuous switch on and off of the blowers. If needed, you can operate the blowers in manual mode with continuous running. Talking about the maintenance of the auxiliary blowers, always do conduct the external lubrication of the drive and the non-drive end bearings for the electric motor. A contributing factor towards the electric motor bearing failure is the venting hole located at the base of the motor for the shaft ceiling is being plugged. Never plug this venting hole. I would recommend to check this venting hole frequently. A moderate amount of airflow is normal. In case of excessive airflow, you need to change the shaft ceiling which I'll describe in my upcoming video. Guys, it is also equally important to perform the auxiliary blows starter panel circuit contactor routines. This practice ensures trouble free operation of the blows. It is always a good practice to keep a spare set of a blower and an electric motor to deal with any emergency situation. Friends, last but not the least, the engineers must strictly follow the routine maintenance schedule for the overall intervals as recommended by the makers. So guys, let's gear up to adapt with the demand for operating the vessels at low load to fulfill the market conditions. If at all you find this video informative, please do hit the like button 
subscribe my channel and share it among your colleagues to be an better engineer on board your ship thank you for watching the video wish you all safe seas and healthy stay on board thank you